Hi there, James here, CEO of Inspire Asia, and back in our Wellington, New Zealand office at the moment, and actually quite exciting because I'm with our founder, uh, Dan Tuhill. Nice Thank you, James. You yep. And I wanted to ask you, because a question I'm getting a lot throughout Asia, I know we have it here in New Zealand and in our Australian offices as well, the future of work, the future of learning, so much stuff about that at the moment. What's it all about? What are you seeing? Yeah. Uh, I was seeing a, a number of things, James, and it's a great question. So for us, clearly, learning design is in our DNA, and that's that's what we do. Um, the way that we support those organisations uh, with the future of work is with learning. However, the thing about the future of work, it's whose future and whose work. And um, I, I don't believe, um, and, and I don't think um, anyone else does that, it's a wave that's going to kind of wash over us and it's going to, you know, 2020 or 2021 or whatever. Mm. So I think um, what's driving some of this is clearly investment in automation, robotics, AI. So what that means is the nature of what people do in their jobs is now changing. Mm. Um, so there's, there's a shift from less reliance on um, human beings doing the technical um, skills and uh, actual, actuarial services mm -hmm. is probably a good, mm -hmm. you know, a, an example mm -hmm. of that. Oh, it's a good example, an example of that. And to a greater focus and waiting on human skills, mm. or what some folks call soft skills. Yeah. So we see those changes in many of the organisations we're working with. So, that, so that's one of the key things. Also, there are other um, technologies and tech stack, it's kind of a trendy way of saying that, that organisations can now introduce into their programmes to augment the work mm -hmm. and also to augment the learning. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah, make, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. So, so it's a complex area, and, and what's sort of one thing that we're doing about it at the moment? Do you think? What's one thing, one one pain point we're seeing, even just here in Wellington? That's a good question. Mm. Mobile and micro mm. it, it, in this town. Now we're doing mm. um, more of that in Australia a year or two ago, and we still are. So, seventy percent of what we're doing in Australia would be fully responsive. Mm. Works on mobile, works on tablet, works on on, on laptop for um, PC for digital learning. Starting to get more um, more of a requirement here in this mm. town, um, and Chameleon, and I'm sure the guys will, will mm. talk about Chameleon more, that, that is a tool that we're using to facilitate that, it mm. seems to be working pretty well. Um, I think also though, there's also more of a talk around culture and what culture needs to be prevalent and what mm. environment needs to be prevalent to, to support and foster continuous learning in organisations. So many of our organisations mm. and, and, our, and our clients are um, are gra grappling, exploring, um, looking at ways that they can start to influence that. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Dan. It's You're a welcome. complex area, but as ever, you simplify it, so that's great. Great to catch up with you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you.